G'day mate, 40 here at the entrance to the Sydney Harbour. This is Watson's Bay. And looking out towards uh, Manly. Just dancing here with the waves. And there's nothing like the fair dinkum, mate. Fair dinkum means a genuine article. So I think uh, dinkum might be a Chinese word. But uh, Australians and New Zealanders have like 30 different terms for fair. Right? These are societies all based around fairness. God, I love it here. Only got two more days left in Sydney. I'm right on the edge of the world. I feel like I'm living a carpenter's song. It's probably illegal to be here. So, you know what's not fair, Dinkum? It's fake meat. So, I grew up a Seventh day Adventist, and uh, vegetarianism is part of the religion. So, two thirds of uh, vegetarians, uh, two thirds of Adventists are vegetarian. And to help many people with the transition, the, the Adventist Sanitarium Health Food Company, started by one of the Kellogg brothers, right, manufactures all these fake meats. And I've never liked the fake meats because I never developed a taste for real meat. So that, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so then why would I like fake meat if I never developed a taste for, for real meat? So, uh, due to my lifelong vegetarian habit, right, I never seriously contemplated, never experimented with eating meat, which is absolutely crazy because obviously we evolved to eat meat. It's like we did not evolve to be gullible, we evolved to eat meat. Right, look at our teeth. Look at our, our digestion. It's uh, very well suited for eating meat. But, you know, I kept up many of the habits that I was raised with, including the vegetarian one, and it does not serve me. It's absolutely crippled my health. Like many people raised on a vegetarian diet have all sorts of health problems. Right, have, have lower IQs, have fatigue. Right, so yeah, I have no doubt that being vegan or vegetarian helps some people, but it's also devastating for other people. And it does not help your social life, right? It's a, it's a pain for people to have to, you know, entertain vegetarians, right? So if you raise your kid vegetarian, you're, you're limiting their social life. A good article here from Bloomberg Business Week. Fake meat was supposed to save the world, but it turned out to be just another food fad. He's like game changers, etc. He told Bloomberg Television in 2019, you can affect even individual day performance from a student athlete, for example, through the consumption of our products over animal protein. He said Beyond's own athlete ambassadors, including NBA stars Kyrie Irving and Chris Paul, also investors in the startup, were adopting our products in their training regimes and they're seeing great results. Great results. The Beyond Burger originally was sold in supermarkets, while Impossible went with celebrity chefs such oh. as David Chang. By the end of 2019, Carl's Jr., Duncan, and White Castle were all selling some Beyond or Impossible product. So remember this was it's going to be the revolution that like changed the world and uh, didn't exactly end up this way. So sales of uh, baked meats have uh, kind of peaked. Right, people want the real thing. Oh. Bloody heck. Uh, ever feel like the next hot thing and uh, it turns out that it's just another fad so in 1999 like Rolling Stone you know, did something like you know the hot the hot 30 or the hot 40 and I was on it brother and Burger King had launched the impossible Whopper nationwide the food giants didn't want to get left behind either 
Tyson had shown an interest in buying Beyond, according to former Beyond board member Greg Bolin. When that didn't pan out, the meat company announced plans for its own plant-based billion-dollar brand. Tyson declined to comment. Nestle introduced an awesome burger, and ConAgra Brands CEO said it would create the next generation of beefless burger. At first, fake burgers and sausages seemed like a potential solution to Americans' obsession with red and processed meats, which have been linked to cancer and other chronic diseases. But over the years, skepticism about their healthfulness grew. Oh. Within months of Beyond's IPO, one-time fan and Whole Foods maven Mark Bittman criticized the fake meat products for their hyper-processing. Chipotle's CEO said they didn't fit with the fast casual chain's food with integrity mantra. Even John Mackey, co-founder of Whole Foods Market, the grocer that had been instrumental in introducing the category, went on the record calling plant-based meat super highly processed foods. The Center for Consumer Freedom, a front group that represents tobacco, alcohol, and meat companies, ran a Super Bowl ad in February 2020 attacking fake meat's ingredients with a mock spelling bee that repeated long-held health advice. If you can't spell it or pronounce it, maybe you shouldn't be eating it. Still, that criticism hadn't yet made its way to people such as Michelle Darby, a mother stuck at home with four kids in Marlton, New Jersey, during the early days of the pandemic. She found The Game Changers on Netflix. It gave a very compelling argument, she says. And I'm on the borderline of high cholesterol. So it was Nathan Kofnis, all right, Oxford PhD, now I believe a professor at Cambridge, who wrote a paper doing a meta-analysis of various papers with regard to the deleterious effects of vegetarianism. Darby, like many others in lockdown, started buying faux meats. The real thing was scarce, and people had extra cash to try out this fuzzy new product. Americans bought 5.3 million units of fresh meat alternatives in the eight weeks ended April 25th, 2020. Three times the amount from a year earlier, according to Nielsen. Suddenly, Beyond's prediction in one of its investor pitch decks that fake meat was on track to become the new fake milk was looking increasingly plausible. Just as the old milk companies could claim to be 13% the size of the $16.1 billion dairy milk category with new products such as oat milk, old meat would similarly undercut the even bigger $270 billion U.S. meat industry. That's the floor, Ethan said at a 2019 Barclays conference. I love being this close to the ocean. It's just energizing. All right, I've been walking about 10 miles a day the last few days and pretty tired. And I need the energetic charge that comes from being right next to the ocean. Right, fake meat, not so energizing. But my beef organ capsules, right? That's pretty energizing. As Darby stocked up, she noticed that she and her family were gobbling up the chickenless nuggets at a much faster pace and that the imitation hot dogs left her feeling uncomfortable. At a checkup with her doctor, she mentioned the diet changes they'd made. The fake chicken nuggets, the impossible sausage sandwich at Starbucks, and their disappointment with the lack of results. The doctor had a simple explanation. You are eating processed foods. Darby went home and looked at the packaging, taking particular notice of the salt content. It should have been obvious to me the whole time, she says. She stopped buying plant-based meats, except for an occasional purchase of impossible ground beef. Meanwhile, she's doing what a lot of consumers are, going back to meat. If they, her family, want hamburgers, will occasionally buy ground meat or will make ground chicken. Yep, the fed income stuff is usually better for you. 